Hello students and welcome again to my channel. My name is Mr. Meshak Ngege and welcome to eMaths with Ngege. So today we could check a question on a Fourier series that is on half range series. And uh, in this particular question, we're going to be checking a half range cosine series. Now, uh, when you are given a half range series, a half range series can, uh, can always be either a half range series can be expanded to be an odd function and it can also be expanded to become an even an even function so when questions asked about half range series uh, they are always specified which type of half range series do we want is it a cosine series or is it a sine series if it is a cosine series then that is for an uh, um, particularly for an even function if it is a sine series then we say that belongs to the sine um, uh, a sine series which is a an odd function are we together so in this particular question we find that you have been specified so you really don't need to start thinking is it an even function is it an odd function you the answer is already with you because you've been told it is a what it is a cosine a cosine series and a cosine series is an even function so therefore without even sketching this curve without sketching it you can already get what you need because what do you need you only need to get a naught and you need to get a n now the same same formula used to calculate even functions is the same same formula which will be used by this now the only difference here occurs when you are getting an even function you always get l right together you always get the half part then you multiply by two but in this function you have already been told that you have been given a half of it so you are calculating for the whole function but using the half point of it so these limits belong to the half so if i was to sketch this function anyway uh, when my t is zero my ft will be zero then when my t is pi my ft will be pi so it will be that particular line so you find that you have been given the half part of the function right together this is an even function so if i was to make this to be even then i'll have that particular extension there all right so in this case you have already been told your function starts from zero and this one will be your what your l right together so in this process you don't need to calculate your l where we have you checked the previous questions we had 2l uh, was to be compared with the t which is the period but here you've already been uh, specified so you really don't need to calculate it again all right together and how did you find our a naught our a naught was found by uh, since this one is even 2 over l from 0 to l then ft dt but this has already been specified so it is 2 over our l is pi all right together 0 to pi then our limit is 0 to pi then ft is this function here which is just t then d what d t you can see how simple that one is yes because it has already been simplified for you and you have been given the limits the exact limits that you need to input in your function so again uh, integrating this we have 2 over pi uh, remember increase the power by 1 divide by the new power then limit from 0 to what 0 to pi so we input our upper limit and lower limit so it is 2 over pi uh, when you input pi you have pi squared then you have 2 right uh, then subtract when you put 0 then you have you have 0 right together so this part just goes you remain with this part so the 2 and the 2 cancels 1 pi and a 1 pi there goes so you remain with the answer being pi you can see how easy that is so that is your a that is your a not so your a naught is given by is given by pi now we come to calculate a n so a n <coughs> a n formula is given by 2 over l 0 to l f t then cos n pi t over l dt right so you have that so again replacing we have 2 over pi from 0 to pi our f t is t right so the function is t then cos n pi t over pi now we have a pi and we have a pi here so this pi and this pi cancels so you can see we remain with what we remain with n t just 
wrap that. Yeah, so these are these cancel. So you may here, you just remain with N, T, then D what? D, T. Using the integration by parts, uh, so we shall have uh, in the integral of u dv is given by uv minus integral of vd du. So we shall let the first part to be u. So we let our u part will be t and our dv will be whatever else that remains here. Right together. So the cosine of n t d t. Then we get, remember, we're supposed to get du because we have a u and we have dv. We have u, we have dv. Do we have u? Yes. Do we have v? No. Do we have v? No. Do we have du? No. So we get whatever we are missing in this formula. So we have du dt. So differentiate with respect to t and your value will be 1. Therefore, your du will be given by dt. Cross multiply. Right, together. Then you have v will be given by the integral of cosine of ntd nt dt. Therefore, your v will be given by sine nt. Right, together. Then divide by the constant. What is our constant here? Our constant is our constant is n. Now replace everything here in the formula. So therefore, we shall have the integral of the function t cos nt dt will be given by uv what is our u t what is our v sine nt over n subtract the integral of v sine nt then over n then du v du our du is dt then remember your limit uh, and here we have 2 over pi so remember to input it so let me just input it here uh, so that it doesn't so our limits from 0 to 0 to pi so again we have t sine of nt over n subtract now integrating sine you get negative of course all right together you get negative of course but we have another negative here so this one becomes what becomes positive then this one becomes cos nt then drop an n drop an, an n so you're dropping n but we have another n so how many n's do you have you have n what n you have n squared then zero up to up to pi then we say it for an even function the sine series is not present but still we say it, even if you input your value if you input pi sin n pi is zero so the, uh, when you put the upper limit it becomes zero when you input zero here sine of zero is also zero so this part just becomes what just becomes zero so we remain with this part here we can remove the n squared outside so we shall have two over pi n squared then we just have the cos are we together n t then zero two pi we've just removed this constant we have removed it outside all right together then input your limits so 2 over pi n squared input your limit we have cos of n pi minus cos of zero remember you always put your lower limit subtract the the upper limits all right together so therefore so uh, what do we know about cos n pi cos n pi will be given by negative 1 raised to power n. Are you together? It is negative 1 raised to power n. So therefore, uh, this one is 2 over pi n squared. So this one will be negative 1 raised to power n minus. The cos of 0 is 1. All right? Now, this is a general representation of a n. Now, let's find out. Is our an are our n an numbers all numbers or are they specific numbers? And we always prove if they are even or they are odd numbers by the end of the day. So therefore, we say when n is even. So when n is even. Now, what will your an will be? What your an will be? So again, put an even number here. So negative 1, let's say 2, or 4, or 6. Negative 1 to power 2. So remember, we're inputting our values here. So negative 1 to power 2 minus 1. 
Are you together? So when you square a number, that number becomes positive. So we'll have here, the first number becomes 1, then minus 1. And 1 minus 1 is what? 0. 0 times the, the number outside still gives you what? Still gives you 0. So therefore we can see when our n is even, then our a n would be 0. All the a n's. When n is 2, when n is 4, when n is 6, when n is 8, our a n values will be zeros. Then when n is odd, then what is our a n? Our a n value will be given by what? So we have, let's say, 1. Negative 1 raised to the power 1 is negative 1. Are you together? Negative 1 minus 1, negative 2. Negative 2 times 2, negative 4. So therefore, your value will be given by pi n squared. So negative 4 pi n squared. So remember, our numbers will only be when... So let me rub uh, this part. So remember, our value of uh, a n was pi. Are you together? I know, sorry. So therefore, we are saying our a n values will be a1, which is negative 4 over pi. Our a3 will be negative 4 over pi. Remember, our term is squared. This one, there's one squared here. 3 squared, that is our next odd number. 5, negative 4 by 5 squared, and so on and so forth. Therefore, our series will be written by, it is a0, remember it is a0 over 2 plus summation of n equals to 1 up to infinity, a n cos. Now remember, our cosine simplified to become nt. Okay, so nt. So we can have that. So what is our a0? Our a0 was pi, then over. 2 plus so we have summations of a n okay now i can just first of all write it before writing the summation so our first value is negative 4 that is our first a a1 then cos so we shall have t because whatever value you have here is the value here then the next one is negative 4 pi then 3 squared then we have cos 3 t then negative 4 over pi 5 squared Cosine of 5, t. The value of n, the value of n, 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 and our n here. So therefore, writing it in this form, we shall have pi over 2 minus 4 over pi. It is a constant which appears all through. Right eh, together. Negative 4 over pi. Negative 4 over pi. Negative 4 over pi. Then summation of n or from 1 to infinity of 1 all over these values that are here we have said they are all they are all odd numbers so, so one over all the numbers here are all odd numbers so we shall represent them by 2n minus 1 remember we said 2n minus 1 or 2n plus 1 is used to represent odd numbers so just writing them remember they are all squared so it is 2n minus 1, all of them are squared, then the cosine of 2n minus 1, uh, 2n minus 1t. So we have said our a n values are odd numbers, so it is 1 over uh, an odd number squared. So 1 squared, 3 squared, 5 squared, and so on. Then cosine n, we are not going to write n, we are going to write n in terms of an odd number. Yes, the value is n, yes. But for us to be very specific, we write it in terms of an odd, an odd number. So therefore, 2n minus 1t. And therefore, that one gives you your function ft, either in this form or in this form. And that is how you get half range cosine series. So we are saying your series is always defined for you. You don't have to find the L. So the only difference here, when you're finding a function which you are getting it from scratch, drawing it, then trying to find out if it is uneven or odd, is just on the value of L. But on the calculation, everything remains the same. Thank you and see you in the next lesson.